it comes in second place only to vanilla ice cream. Today we're talking about chocolate and no longer the bridesmaid. Today it's the bride. It gets all the attention it deserves and Jack's here to tell us which brand we should be taking home from the supermarket. This is going to be fun. Yeah, I'll it's, say so. It's chocolate ice cream. <laughs> all right. So dig in. All right, no problems. Two things I want you to focus on. Intensity of chocolate flavor, and there was some disagreement within the tasting panel about how much chocolate people really wanted. Do they want a grown-up chocolate or a milder, more kid-friendly mm -hmm. chocolate? Second thing is texture, which is dramatically different in these three samples. So the biggest factors controlling texture are one, the amount of overrun. Mm -hmm. So that's a fancy term for air. If they didn't add air, it would be very dense, almost like an ice cube. It can range from 30% air to 110%. Easiest way I think to understand this is we weighed a gallon of ice cream and a gallon of ice cream can either weigh four and a half pounds or seven and a half oh, pounds. Wow. Our tasters actually liked ice cream with a fair amount of overrun. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's because they wanted to eat a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's just half air, right? Right, it's yeah, diet. And, and you can actually eat more of it. That's it's a big- healthy. Oh, it's <laughs> healthy, yeah. Well, one of these is slow churned. Mm. So if you were wondering what slow churned is, it's actually light ice cream. The fat difference here ranged from three and a half grams all the way up to 17 grams of fat. And why that's important is not only about richness, but flavor. More fat means you're going to be able to have a harder time tasting the chocolate. And so it turned out that the mm. brands with the most fat actually seemed the least chocolatey because your tongue is being coated by all that delicious, wonderful, creamy dairy, uh, fat. dairy fat. The um, studio audience agreed with the expert panel and chose our winner. Really? Um, it isn't actually the brand that I personally prefer the best, just to be clear. Interesting. Um, and it is one of the fluffier brands. I actually like this one the best. This one, I prefer a little bit more to this one. This one seems a little sticky. Some of these are made with sugar mm -hmm. and some with corn syrup. Corn syrup can give a sort of chewiness, mm -hmm. which again, some people love that. I'm still gonna go with that one as my favorite, but I'm still gonna eat all three. Are you going to do that now, or do you want to find out? <laughs> I'll what? find out. Yes, let's find out. So this is very interesting. The good news is we're in agreement. The bad news is we don't agree with anybody else. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> so you chose the haagen uh, ah. which is not the winner, according to the studio audience or the expert panel. It's interesting. A, it's a good ice cream, but it was not our top choice. I love it because I think the texture is just amazing. So this one does have a lot of chocolate flavor. This is Edie's, also sold as dryers in part of the country. Mm -hmm. It was at the bottom of the rankings because oh. it's least fat. It's slow churned. Oh, okay. Um, you can really taste the chocolate. That's probably the less fat. Yeah, and again, the talking. difference here is three and a half grams of fat versus 17 mm -hmm. grams of fat. So it's not like a little difference. No. It's a no. huge difference. And it had a little chewier texture to it. And this has pectin, tapioca okay. starch, a lot of other stabilizers because of course without the fat, you're gonna to have to add something to get ice cream texture. Right, and so this, I'm assuming, was our winner? This is the Turkey Hill, the studio audience Good chose job. this. The expert panel chose this. Good flavor, again, it has a sort of lighter texture, mm -hmm. a little chewy. Mm -hmm. Our audience chose this, our tasting panel chose that, but you and I are gonna fight over that one. We're totally fighting over that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. If you wanna pick up some chocolate ice cream on the way home, you can't go wrong, but our winner is the Turkey Hill Premium Dutch Chocolate Ice Cream. It retails for $2.99 for a quart and a half. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>